This is Claudette Ortiz, and you are watching Bossip.com. Really hit rock bottom. And I was at a crossroads where I just had to, um, all the little odd jobs that I was doing, um, you know, I was, I was a, a chef in a kitchen, and I tried to open my own businesses. I had my catering business, and I had a cleaning business. But those things were not lucrative enough. To raise my children and to to um, you know for a home and just the every day all those bills and things that you have when you, when uh, when you're raising children. Um, so I I had to make a choice of am I going to continue going this way? Where is this going? You know it's, I I was like man I guess I'll just go to the Air Force Reserves because the only other thing that I knew how to do I had a great aim because my father was military and you know all of that so um and i felt like it would pay for school because i i only have a high school diploma i didn't have any degree or anything so um um i was i was having a rough night i had to leave the place i was at and i was driving with my things in my in my trunk and my kids were asleep and i had nowhere to go and that night phil Fortin from um he's an executive producer of the show uh, he texted me, but I I was upset and I was crying and I was like, God, I know that there's people out there who have it way worse than I have it, but don't forget about me. You know, this is still difficult, and and um and I had praise God, I had to support my mother. She was the, always there, trying to help as much as she can. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm responsible for these children. You know, I have to take care of these children. Um, and um, and that was when I got the text, and I had to make a choice on: Do I go with this show? Is it gonna be? I never wanted to be a part of a reality show because you know I didn't want to expose my children or anything like that. When I came out there, I had to move my children out of their school, and you know every, that it was a big move from east to west coast, and I just left my rock four years of a rock bottom, you know four years of being ridiculed and scrutinized on the internet and um, four years of really trying to decide between one bill and the other and um, you know having to go into the social services building and and your caseworker recognizes you and says why are you here you know this it's it breaks you down so so I was just coming out of that breakdown and rebuilding myself and being trying to get back into the groove of being in the spotlight being in entertainment and um and so that's that's is a sadness that that um that i believe that women in that position do feel and it does show on your face but you you keep it moving you don't cry you you keep your head up and you keep going even though you do have that consistent worry and and, and heartbreak um